Singapore, Chile and New Zealand plan to sign a landmark digital economy partnership agreement by April. Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Singh revealed this after a, quote, substantial conclusion to negotiations on the deal, which is aimed at making cross-border digital trade easier. Michelle Cho has the details. Well, the three countries are collaborating on this because they say that digitalization has led to the transformation of trade and that current policies don't necessarily address the issues brought by digital trade and by digitalization. And that's exactly what the Digital Economy Partnership Agreement, or DEPA, aims to do. It aims to do so by focusing on three main fronts. The first is on digital trade, the second on data flows, and the third is on keeping the digital economy inclusive. Now, for businesses, this this means tapping onto more opportunities and venturing overseas. And these opportunities could be in the fields of e-invoicing or even online gaming. And for Singapore, this means that we can expect more job creation in this space as the digital economy happens there. Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Sing says that the signing of the DEPA will help Singapore to transcend its geography size and boundary. And he added that other countries are also discussing with the parties in the uh, agreement. So this is not a zero-sum game. We believe that this agreement will be a platform for many others to study and we will also like to collaborate with other partners who may in time to come uh, join the standards that we have set today. So we look forward to the close cooperation with uh, New Zealand and Chile and I say, as I say this is the first step in our onward journey in the digital economy. All of this is happening as the digital economy in Southeast Asia is expected to triple by 2025. Singapore and New Zealand have already have a um, comprehensive economic partnership that was signed in 2001, and this DEPA will help to deepen that relationship further. Besides these partners, Singapore is also in talks with Australia to come up with a bilateral digital economy agreement. The Digital Economic Partnership Agreement, or DEPA, is being touted as a new form of economic engagement to meet the needs of the digital era. The deal promotes cross-border digital trade among the three countries in three main areas, simplifying processes to facilitate digital trade, enabling trusted data flows, and promoting the digital economy. Well, DEPA wants to streamline processes as well to make trade easier. Among other things, the countries will work towards linking their trade declaration platforms, and that's so their firms will be able to submit electronic trade documents to cut down costs and make cargo clearance much faster. FinTech will also be getting a boost as the countries will promote cooperation among their firms in the industry. And they also aim to develop more FinTech solutions like e-payments and work towards rules that make it conducive to do that. Well, as more information flows across those borders, the agreement also aims to create more trust. One way it's doing this is to make it different national data laws more compatible among those three countries, and it's hoping to forge a consensus on data protection policies as well on common principles to create more seamless data flows. And finally, DEPA hopes to promote the digital economy, for example, by helping SMEs learn through dialogues and it also promote the ethical use of artificial intelligence and online consumer protection laws.